Testing, testing. Mister, I literally wrote the right X value down. I just didn't put Calcula it. Calculate. I just wrote a different number. You didn't? What? Like, like, because like, I knew that it was five meters off the ground. Yeah. And I, so I knew that the stretch was 20. But I just wrote five because I had five um, there. See? That happens a lot. Diggity damn doodle. That stinks. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, let's go over these. There's two tests. So one of them... The, the real difference between the two is just the some of the names in the test and then the numbers as well, of course. All right, let's go over this. Uh, I'm going to go over number one, two, three, and four just for the sake of the video and because I know we have students that missed, um, missed um, all of them. So. All right, let's go ahead and go over this. Um, and I have two versions, so I'm going to alternate between the two. Yeah, you figured out my trick. Now I gotta change my trick. Thank you. It's not that difficult. And, and actually, I last year I even wrote A, B, C, D between the two tests. But that's all right. What's his trick? Oh my gosh, his trick is just he changes between a comma and a period. <laughs> all right. Uh, on this test, you get four out of four correct. You get an A, three out of four B, two out of four C, one out of four. Uh, if you got an F, you only need, if you got one out of four F, you only need to take one more question correct, get one more question correct to get an A. All right, I like to draw pictures. So we have a student designs, this is the test of the comma here. A student designs a bungee cord utilizing 150 of our bands that are one inch each. The cord is going to be used in the project uh, to drop an egg from a height of eight meters. We'll be doing this when we get back from break. We'll start with the lab and then we'll be doing the project. The 80 gram egg is attached to a bungee cord and falls 6.75 meters before bouncing back. So we do have uh, height. Can we see? Yeah, we can see. It's all right. It's not perfect. Uh, this height is 8 meters. Um, the mass of the egg is 80 grams. And if I convert that to kilos, it's 0 0.08 kilograms. Okay. And... We're at a height of eight meters, and I say that we fall 6.75 meters before bouncing back up. So there's bounce, so that means there has to be EPE. And in fact, I do ask for the EPE. All right, we have point one, which is where we jump from, and point two is the lowest point that we get to. So we have energy one and energy two. What are the energies at the top? What energies do we have at the top? We have we have guppy PPE at the top, and what do we have at the bottom? Yeah, we have GP and EP because we're still not all the way to the ground. Our height is not zero. We still have some height, um, and we have some stretch. We have stretched. We've bounced down, and we're we're going back up uh, from two. So we have GPE two and EPE. So we have MGH, or oh, I think this is another video where I'm just sniffling the whole time, and then MGH2 plus EPE. I'm leaving this as EPE because I'm asking for EPE. My mass is 0 0.08, 0 0.08, gravity is 10, and my height is 8. Uh, for my position 2, I need to figure out this this is my H2, uh, and that is 1.25, if I'm not mistaken. So that's 0.08 for my mass, 10 for gravity, and 1.25, thank you, for my height, plus EPE. So here I'm just solving for EPE. Um, if I multiply these numbers, I get 8 times 10 times 0.08. I get 6.4, correct me if I'm wrong, 0 0.08 times 10 times 1.25 and 1 plus EPE. Subtract this from there, my EPE is 5.4 Julios, yep, Jules, all right. Um, that's, that's this version of the test. And for the other version, 
it's basically the same question, except you can check it real quick. The answer you get looks like this. So if, if you're if watching the video, you can just freeze it and look at this. Okay? We're good? Freeze it. What, what do you say? Pause. Oh, I don't know. I don't know those things. All right. All right. Ready? Let's go to number two. There was some debate on this one. Heated debate about how you pronounce the name of this island in the Caribbean. Do, no, it's not Dominicana. It's not the Dominican Republic. It's Dominica. Dominica. Dominica? All right. So this is going to be the world's worst YouTube video. Um, okay. So I'm going to just do that. All right. Sing. And then I'll have to copyright it? No, I don't have to pay for that. Okay. I just paid for a patent. That cost me $8,000. Um, a tourist on vacation in Dominica whose mass is 95 kilos bungee drops a total distance of 250 meters. Okay. Uh, and it touches the ground briefly before bouncing back up. If the spring constant of the cord is 475, so 475 newtons per meter determine the length of the cord so we want to figure out what is the length of the cord and apparently I describe in the question that this person stretches down to touch the ground so length plus x equals 250 we know that uh, we're jumping from point one and we're touching the ground at point two so we have energy one equals energy two what type of energy is at one GPE, and what type of energy is at point two? Yeah, I have no height. I'm going all the way to the ground, so uh, that means that I have no GPE. I just have EPE. So GP is MGH1 equals one-half KX squared. My mass is 95 kilos, so I said the mass was 95 kilograms. 95 10 and my first height is 250. Uh, I know my K is 475. So I'm just going to solve. I'm going to solve for x squared. That is an x. So let's do this 95, 95 times 10 times 250. Oh, I wish the senior assembly was fourth period. Because I have a study fourth period. Um, so I get that number. I'm going to divide it by 0.5 and divide it by 475. So I should get x squared equals 1,000. Sound about right? So x equals 31.6 meters, but I don't want x, I want the length. So I'm going to take 250, I'm going to subtract x, subtract x to get l, so let me find some space here. Uh, 250 minus 31.6 equals l, so my l should be 218.5 meters 218.4 meters all right so you should get that for the Dominica problem uh, and then the Trinidad problem should look like this it's actually not a Trinidad problem Trinidad. I want to go to Trinidad during carnival um, and then this is what you should get for number two I'll freeze frame it's the same process same exact process. Uh, for x, you get 23.5, and then when you subtract these, you get 151.5. All right, we're at nine minutes. This is great. Uh, let's go to number three on this one. <clears throat> All right, this is number three, not that one. A possum drops from a 60-meter tree. 
silly possum, uh, with a 35 meter vine attach. A uh, spring constant of 12.5 newtons per meter. And at the lowest point, it's only five meters off the ground. Uh, what is the mass? All right. And actually, I can see here, I could calculate the stretch pretty easily. Uh, and the stretch here would be 20. So the stretch equals 20 meters. And the stretch is just, okay, if you have the regular length, how much does it stretch to get to its lowest point? And I said here that at its lowest point, it drops to five meters off the ground. All right. So we know energy one equals energy two. At the top, what type of energy do I have? I have gravitational potential energy from my height. At its lowest point, I have uh, what two energies? GPE plus EPE. And here, again, I'm going to calculate the mass. What is the mass? Because we don't have it. So MGH, my gravity is 10. And my height at point 1 is 60. M at 2 uh, times 10 times my height at 2, which is 5, plus 1 half. K is 12. 0.5 uh, times x squared, which is 20 squared. So let's see here. I'm going to calculate all these numbers. I get 600 m. Yep, yeah, yeah, uh, 50 m. And then I'm going to calculate this number. 0.5 times 12.5 times 20 times 20. Get 2,500. That sounds about right. 2,500. And subtract this from that, so I should get 550m equals 2,500. 2,500 divided by 550 will give me a mass of 4.55 kilos. That sounds about right. Is that what you got? All right, 4.55 kilos for number three there. Uh, Gazudentaden. And right here... This is the other number three. The number is kind of weird for a squirrel, but it's kind of a small squirrel. I got for X, yeah, 10. Uh, 40 minus the length of the cord minus the height it is off the ground, 5. So 40 minus 30, 10. And that's my height at the second pole. Oh, excuse me. No, that's my stretch. That's my stretch. That's my stretch. Okay. Let's do the last one. Last but not least. All right. And all right. Is that the Dubai one? Dubai. I want to go to Dubai. Yeah. I bet. All right. Okay, yeah. This is... Wait, are we doing the South America one, right? Because we're alternating. All right. An engineer is designing a cord for a company, and they want to drop tourist 400... Uh, over a 400-meter cliff. Uh, they want to build the world's longest bungee cord at 150 meters. Uh, average tourist mass is 80 kilos. And they want to drop the tourist 300 meters down into the valley to get a good look. Okay. Determine the spring constant. And we want to determine the spring constant. We know at the top we're at this point, and then when we drop down into the valley, they want to drop us. Uh, 300 meters to point two. So the energy of one is equal to the energy of two. What is the type of energy they have at one? GPE. And what types of energy do they have at two? GPE and EPE. This is at two, at two, and at one. 
All right, we know we have MGH1 equals MGH2 plus 1 half KX squared at 2. Uh, this is 80, 10, 400 equals 80, 10. What's my height at this point? If, if I've dropped 300, how much is left over? Yeah, this is 100 meters. Uh, 100, I'm trying to find K, I don't know K, and my stretch, if my length is 150, and the lowest point I get to is 300, how much do I have to stretch to go from 150 to 300? 150, do you see that? I, if, one way to do it is, okay, if I, if I start here, I jump down and I go to my lowest point at 300, my length of the cord relaxed is 150. I have to go another 150 to get to that 300 point. So it's 150 squared. squared. Uh, there's big numbers, but not too bad. 80 times 10 times 400. This is 320,000 equals 80,000 plus... 150 times 150 times 0. 0.5. 150 times 150 times 0. 0.5. Uh, 11, uh, 250 K. So let's do the math. And then divide that by 0.2. K should be, is this right? 27.7? That number doesn't ring a bell. You have a different question? You have the Dubai one? Let me just check my answers. Um, no, I did something off. Dubai, 37.5. Yeah. This one's off. Let's figure out why. Um, 80 is the mass here. 10, 400 meters. That's right. At its lowest point, we're 100 meters. That's right. Um, we are going 150. This all looks right. Let me calculate it again. Times 11, 250. So 80 times 10 times 400. 32. 320,000, 80 times 10 times 100, 80,000. And then divided by, oh, yeah, it should be 21.3 meters per meter. Yeah, I just did my math wrong. Okay, great. So that's my answer there. Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Let's show you Dubai. Dubai. And Trinidad. And Dubai. Here's Dubai. There's the Dubai problem. There you go. All right, that only took 18 minutes and 40 seconds. Not bad.